Well hey there you ridiculously handsome bastards, how y'all doing? I just want to welcome you all to a brand new series, it's Red Dead Redemption. Actually this is the game of the year edition and what I'm going to be doing instead is Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. That's not really much of a surprise, you'd have kind of already got that, hang on sorry, you'd already got that from the uh, from the, uh, the title of this video. But um, because I'm not going to be doing the main game because from what I hear about the main game of Red Dead Redemption it can keep you going for easily at least 20 hours and um, I already have sleeping dogs going on at the moment and that's another you know 20 minute uh, 20 minutes Jesus that would be a rip off 20 hour long slog so um, I'm going to try and limit it uh, but on the plus side Undead Nightmare hang on I'm going to hit the start button and hopefully single player because I'm all alone uh, but yeah Undead Nightmare is only meant to be about 6 hours long so um, I figure that's perfect just to have as another little series to go on in uh, in conjunction. I'm going to I'm going to get a good word out there. I graduated from college as a, as an English major. It's about time I start using some um some gargantuan idioms, I think. Oh yeah, baby. I'm I'm cracking out all the big words now. Um so yeah, we're going to be doing Undead Nightmare. I, my main reason for doing this is not just cuz I wanted another mini series, which I do. Um but it's also because The Walking Dead episode 3, from what I can tell, it still isn't fucking on the PSN store and um it's making me angrier than a midget with a yo-yo, really, to be completely honest with you. Uh, and I need my zombies. I don't know why, ever since I was a little child, I, I have this strange love of zombies that I, 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 can, I cannot, I cannot, I've never been able to understand. Jess doesn't understand it. She says I'm going to have to kind of outgrow it at some point. I think that's bullshit. You don't outgrow zombies. Zombies for life. Um, and yeah, so I need my zombie fix. So, anyways, that's my introduction. Uh, if you're going to watch this... Then I have one requirement, and it's not that you have to click the like button or you have to subscribe. What I need you to do, and you must do this, is you need to sit back, relax, throw your feet up, and enjoy. I got a cup of tea here myself. It's 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 the drink of champions, so I recommend you do the same. And uh, yeah, let me keep you company for a while. And uh, but the, <laughs> that said, if you do like the video and if you want to see more of this, then please click the like button and leave me a comment and whatnot. And uh, if you like what you see, then please subscribe. It really does help me out hugely. In fact. Um, and it means the world to me, and every new subscriber does make me smile. Anyways, let's get the zombie madness on, on, on that bad... Pfft. Look, just get your zombie socks on, alright? That's basically what I'm trying to say. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? 
I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man could take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic, Bob? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is... There's this one guy, and he goes out in search of this and That's what leaves him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is... Absolutely disgusting, and completely unbelievable. <laughs> getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. So good. Oh, go! Oh, go! What is going? Oh. What the hell is wrong with you, crazy old bastard? Where are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. Jesus, I, d I didn't expect, um, oh, put Uncle out of his misery. Oh, okay. I didn't expect, uh, his wife to get... Hang on, you old bastard. This I'm in my jammies. Fault. My jammies are not, not suitable zombie killing attire. Time. Woo! I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Uh, Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Mama! Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now.
Lasso and Hogtie Abigail. <laughs> hey, it's just another regular nightly routine for these guys. <laughs> Reading a little too much Fifty Shades of Grey, have we? Oh shit, I can hear the other guy. Alright son, where's my boy? Time to set a little ground rules. This is what I get for not beating you when you were a child. Come on, a little closer. A little Pull closer. Together, we're both at our jammies. This is... <laughs> jammies is not... Uh, especially onesie overall, so it's not like the best... How do I hug tell you? you oh shit, 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 shit! Calm the hell down. Putting up a fight. That's my boy. I love how he has no idea what's going on. Into you sick, crazy bastards, or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. <laughs> Let's go find me a doctor in town. <laughs> so I can only assume... Alright, hang on. Find help in Blackwater. <clears throat> okay, from here on out, this game is completely blind for me. Um, because I had actually recorded this yesterday. Just this section right here. But, um... No, hey, I can whistle for my horsey. Let's see how this goes. But yeah, I had recorded this bit, but I only had like about 10 minutes before I had to get to work and my mom was hovering around outside the room. So, you know, you can't exactly ramble on kind of comfortably when your mom's listening in and what you're saying, you know, Hello, my mighty steed! Alright. Knight in grimy armor. That's me. Alright, going by this little house icon on the map, I do believe... Oh, hey, it's in the barn. Woo! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I landed in the trough. Alright, out of get. Uh, I do believe this is some form of safe house, and I, maybe I can save my game here. Oh, my son. My blessed son. Well, if this is his ranch, he, he wrote that kind of... John wrote this preemptively. <laughs> he expected the zombie outbreak to happen. Alright, save game. Alright, come on, save it up. Alright, so I'm just gonna... Loving the time of plague, that's what we just did, so I'm just gonna save over that. And uh, I'm just gonna have the one save file. Otherwise, I get confused. I get confused very easily. Even more confused than a mosquito in a room full of mannequins. Alright, guess we just hop on on down. Ooh, slide down. <laughs> Why climb down when you can just slide down? It's more fun. Alright, where's my steed? Where's my stallion? He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. If he comes. Here he comes. I'm a coming, son. Oh, Jesus, just ran into me. Come on. Alright, so I should have been completely floored. Alright, so I apologize if I'm not going to be the best at this game for the first while. Um, I have. This is my first time actually playing. Red Dead Redemption. I haven't played the um, the uh, the main storyline yet because I want to do a series for it, but I need to do that when I've got something that's not like sleeping dogs on at the same time. I can only do one giant ass game. Oh, excuse me. Burp. Um, I can only do one giant ass game at a time. So um, I figured Undead Nightmare is only meant to be the six hours long. So oh, I thought I heard something roaring after me. That'd be bad. <laughs> I gotta say, I like how they have the. Um, the kind of dark humor, you know? John doesn't really know what's going on, so... Uh, but when it comes to controls, all I know is the controls that... I took a look at the manual before I sat down to play this. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it's gonna go well. Um, I also, I got the email, the last, the very last step to confirming my partnership. So once I click that link, I am officially a YouTube partner. And I'm gonna have to brand my channel, so that'll be changing around a bit as we go. But, um... Anyways, enough about that. All I, all I can say is thank you, guys. 
All right, here we are. How do I? Oh, Jesus! How do I slow down? How do I slow my horse down? Ah, there we go. All right, everyone. Here's the town of Blackwater. If you want to see whatever happens next in this village, you're just gonna have to click the like button, now, aren't you? Let me know if you want to see more, and uh, more videos will come soon. I, I figured this is a good kind of a good image to sign off on. All right then. Until the next video. Take care. Adios.